Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to enable the 2FA on Apex Legends in 2024. So today, we're diving into the world of enhanced account security as we explore how to enable the two-factor authentication on your Apex or Apex Legends account. By enabling the 2FA, you will add an extra layer of protection to your account, safeguarding your progress and game purchases and any personal information in there. So join me in this guide as I guide you through the steps of doing so. So let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch us from now till the end so you have full experience. First, you'll need to go and access your Apex Legends account. To do so, go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser, and of course in your case, it could be any other browser that you could possibly have. Once you open that browser, basically you just go to this URL section, just type Apex Legends as an example, hit the enter button, and this should take you right here. So make sure to click on this first link as an example, Apex Legends, and here of course you'll be able to click on your account at the top right corner, and you'll be able to sign in into your account if you have an account, and if you don't have an account instead, click on create an account to create a new account. I don't remember if I have an account, but let me just go and try. I guess I have one, but I'm not very sure. So let me just go and try to log into my account. Of course, as you can see, you can log in using Google, Facebook, Apple, Steam, Xbox, PlayStation. If you don't want to get through all the boring steps of logging into your account. And I guess creating an account is the same. Yeah, as you can see. So for me, I'll just try to log in here with my account. And let's see if I have an account in here. If I don't, they'll tell me, okay, I don't have an account, so you'll have to create an account. It's fine. So as you can see, you'll be able to select what electronic arts can access. So you can, of course, uh, see your download ex exact dates and etc. Or you can even disable this and click on continue if you don't want to. And as you can see, if you didn't want to, you'll have to enter it manually. So for me, I'll just do here like February uh, 2 and 2002 as simple as that and click on next in here and as you can see profile visibility i'll just do everyone allow players to find me uh, with my email address uh, email me about products for me i don't want to and so those are the two uh, those this is the one that you have to check for sure if you didn't check it you'll not be able to create it to create an account but those is just some preferences so this if you want emails to get into your uh, mail if you don't want it, don't enable it. And here, if you want people to find you with your email address, I want to. So I'll just go here and click on create my account. Here, they'll give you your EA address and, of course, the email address. So you can now use your Google account, email address, or AI ID to access AI products, perks, and services. Feel free to adjust your account details by visiting your EA account. So click on finish. And we should be logged in now into our account in Apex Legend, of course, using AI. So we need now to go and enable the 2FA on Apex Legends. To do so, simply go to this top right corner here, profile picture. Go and click on that. And as you can see, you'll be able to access the account settings. So first, go and access your account settings. And once you do so, you will find yourself on a place like this, as you can see. Here you'll be able to change a lot of stuff if you want to. But what we care about here is simply go and click on security. So once we click on security, as you can see in here, what do you have? Do you have you have a password, login verification. As you can see, login verification increase the protection of your EA account. We will send you a code when accessing the select EA experience from an in recognized device, including your my account page, trusted devices, and you can even add your secondary email. So what you'll need to do is simply turn on or enable this login verification, which is the 2FA. So if you click on turn on here, as you can see, your verification code will be sent to the Gmail or email that you entered. And please proceed if this is how you wish to receive your verification uh, like code. If you want, just click on send security code. And as you can see, what you'll need to do now is simply go to your Gmail and enter the code provided and simply enter it right here to enable the 2FA or two-factor authentication. Uh, of authentication of course so for me i'll just go to my email provider in here and once i do so as you can see i'll find the code in here so 113104 so 113104 and click on submit and as you can see you will be able to turn on the login uh, verification using email app authenticator or a text message so what do you prefer what is the type of 2fa that you would like normally people choose email app authenticator or text message so Choose whatever suits you. For me, as an example, I'll just choose this app authenticator and click on send code. So what kind of device you have for me? It's an Android. And of course, make sure to choose the right one because it's changed the QR code. So for me, I'll choose here an Android. 
and once I choose an Android, of course, they will give me a QR code here to scan. If you can scan it for some reason, maybe your camera is broken or something like that, you will be able, of course, to get normally set up key. I don't know if they provide it in here, but let, let me first of all, of course, you'll need to go first of all and download an app authenticator. For me in this video, like I'm using a Google Authenticator app. Of course, for you, you can use other apps if you want to. And for me, in Google Authenticator, you'll find like, I'll just show you here. So Google Authenticator, this is what we want. Okay, so I'll just go and click on that. As you can see, so the, the screen will be something like that. So you'll have to click on this plus button, as you can see right here. Once you click on it, you'll find uh, yourself that you can scan QR code or enter. So yeah, let me just go back a bit in here. So yeah, you'll have to click on this plus button. Once you click on it, you'll find scan QR code or enter setup key. If you can't scan the code, as we said before, as an example, it normally should they should provide you with like, so for me, I'll just click on continue here. Yeah, as you can see, they give me a secret key. So if you can't scan this QR code for some reason, just go and get this uh, setup key and enter it on your phone instead. And once you do so, both of the options, you will find a code is added into your uh, phone. So as the codes provided here, as you can see, he have here three codes. So if you click on plus and scan the QR code, it will add one here. If you click on a plus and enter the setup key, of course, give it a label name and then it will add there. And of course, the codes, as you can see, changed every like 20 seconds or so. I don't know the exact time, but it keeps changing uh, over time. So what you need to do is simply go like here and enter that code that is provided right now. Make sure it will not change in the following like second or something like that. Then click on turn on the login verification. As you can see, they will give you some backup codes. Why they give you that? So uh, in case like as an example, you lost the phone or it just, it's got stolen or something like that. So make sure to go and copy this code and save them somewhere self, safe or print them, print them maybe on your on a, like a piece of paper or just type them on a piece of paper. Then simply click on close. And as you can see, it will be turned on. Of course, you can turn off whenever you want by clicking on turn off and it will be turned off very, very easily without asking anything. So yeah, that's going to be it for you today. Of course, there you have it. You successfully enabled the two-factor authentication to FA for your Apex Legends account in 2024. With the 2FA activated, your account is now better protected against any unauthorized access, ensuring you a safer gaming experience. So remember to keep your authentication method secure and consider enabling 2FA for any other like gaming accounts for added security so if you have any questions or there's a specific topic that you'd like me to cover in the next tutorial just drop it down below in the comment section i'll try to do this as soon as possible and if you like this video make sure to leave a like down below subscribe to our channel for more helpful stories like this one so thank you for watching and goodbye